This is Ben McGahey with Yammy Chess. I'm going to be your math teacher today. Yammy Chess is the math learning aid based on classic chess that helps students in math and science education for school. In this lesson, we will learn about collecting data or information through means of tallying and bar graphs. So the first method that we'll learn about is what's known as a tally. Now the way that you tally things is you count them up one at a time and you draw these vertical lines that represent one each. So that's two, three, four, and then when you get to the fifth one for tallying, you draw a uh, slanted line crossing over all the four lines. So that would be five. And then you would continue with the next one, do six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then so forth. And that's how you tally or count things. So in this uh, first um, in this first table we have um, two football teams playing against each other in a football game. We have team A and we have Team B. And we have the quarters. There's four quarters in a football game. So we have a first quarter, second quarter, third quarter, fourth quarter. And we have the scores for each of the teams, both teams A and B. So notice that in Team A, for the first quarter, they scored one, two, three, four four points. In the first quarter for Team B, they scored one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So they scored seven points. So Team B scored more points than Team A in the first quarter. And then you would count the same for the second quarter for Team A. So you notice that they would have 5, 10 points for Team A. And then in the second quarter for Team B, they only scored 3 points. So, so Team A scored more points in the second quarter than Team B. And so the way you can find the total score is just to add up all the points from each quarter. For, for both teams and then the team with the most points wins the game. So it's just a nice way of collecting information for both teams and then have the quarters and then you can determine who won the football game based on this information. So that's how tally works. Now on the other hand we have what's known as a bar graph or we have different um, you know objects that have bars with like certain heights that represent uh, certain numbers and in this case we have what's known as cookie cells so like these are like Girl Scout groups so we have three groups of Girl Scouts we have the what's called the buttercups we have the sunflowers and the peanuts so those are just three made up groups for Girl Scout cookies. And so we notice with the butter cups we can see how much um, how many cookies they sold. They sold up to fifty dollars worth of cookies. And then for the um, sunflowers they they sold $25 worth of cookies and then the peanuts they scored or they sold <laughs> or selling it's uh, $75 worth of cookies so they sold a lot of cookies so the bar graph can kind of uh, tell us just visually you know 
you know, how much something is for each group or category. And so the, the taller the bar is, the greater the number, and then the shorter the bar is, the smaller the number. So these are just two ways we can collect information in a nice and organized manner. And let's see if we can answer some questions based on the tally and the bar graph. So here are some problems you can try on your own. You have four problems. The first problem asks which team scored the most points in the fourth quarter. So looking at the team A and team B um, table, which team scored the most points in the fourth quarter. And then problem two, which team won the game, the football game, and what was the final score? So which team won the football game, and what was the final score? And problem three, which group sold the least amount of cookies? And how much did that group sell? So which group sold the least amount of cookies? And how much did that group sell? And then problem four says, what was the total sale of all three groups combined? So you need to find out how much each group sold for cookies and then add those all, all together to find the total number of sales all three groups combined. Okay, so I will give you a chance to pause the video, work on those um, four problems, and then we'll go over the answers. And feel free to rewind the video to take a look at the um, how to tally and how the bar graph works. Okay, so let's go over the first problem. It asks, which team scored the most points in the fourth quarter? Which team scored the most points in the fourth quarter? So we're going to go to um, our football table here, and we're going to look at the fourth quarter. And so we're going to count uh, how many points there are for team A. How many points we have for team B. So for team A, we have, let's see, 5, and then we have 10, 11, 12, 13. So we have 13 points. Now team B has 5, 10, 15, 16, 17 points. So it looks like team B scored the most points in the fourth quarter. So we have team B. So problem two, which team won the game and what was the final score? So, we, so this is, um, we have two questions to answer. Which team won the game? What was the final score? So we'll go back to our table. We'll add up all the points together. So let's see here. Let's add up all the points together. So for team A, So we had we 
we get 4 here, plus then we had 10 there, so 4 for the first quarter, 10 for the second quarter, plus the third quarter we have 5, 6, 7, and then the fourth quarter we had 5, 10, 11, 12, 13. So let's add these all together. 13, we do 13 and 10, those are the two digit numbers. And then we have 7 and 4, so we'll add those at the bottom. So line all our digits together, we'll do 3 plus 0 is 3, 3 plus 7 is 10, 10 plus 4 is 14, and carry the 1. 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 plus 1 is 3. So we have 34 points for Team A. For Team B, we'll count. We had 7 first quarter plus 3 in the second quarter, plus we had 5, 10, third quarter, plus 5, 10, 15, 16, 17 in the fourth quarter. So let's add all those points together. We have 17 and 10, the two digit numbers, and then we'll write 7 and 3. So it looks like it's going to be a close game here from team A and team B. Let's see who's going to win it. It's 7 and 0 is 7. 7 7 is 14. 14 plus 3 17. Carry the 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. 2 plus 1 is 3. 37 points. So it looks like we had team A score 34 points. Team B scored 37 points, so it looks like it looks like Team B won the game. Team B, and the final score was Team B had 37 points, Team A had 34 points, so we'll do 37 to 34 was the final score. Now in problem three, which group sold the least amount of cookies? And then how much did that group sell? So we have these two questions. Which group sold the least amount of cookies? How much did that group sell? So least amount of cookies would be the would be the group of the Girl Scouts with the shortest bar or shortest height and then that would be the sunflowers, right? So the sunflowers sold the least amount of cookies and it looks like they had twenty five dollars they sold. Only twenty five dollars. Sunflowers. So sunflowers sold the least amount, and they sold only twenty-five dollars worth of Girl Scout cookies. And then the last uh, problem, number four, what was the total sales of all three groups combined? What was the total sales of all three groups combined? So this is where we have to um, take the sales from each group and add those numbers together. So we're going to add fifty dollars, twenty-five dollars, and seventy-five dollars. We're going to add those together. 
So we have 0 plus 5 is 5. 5 plus 5 is 10. 0, carry, carry the 1. 1 plus 5 is 6. 6 plus 2 is 8. And then we have 8 plus 7 is 15. So it looks like all three groups sold $150 together. So the total sales for all three groups combined was $150. And let's check the answers. So we had Team B had the most points in the fourth quarter. Team B won the game with Team A with 34 points. Team B had 37 points. And notice that we wrote that as 37 to 34. So you usually write the most points first and the least number of points second. Sunflowers sold the least amount of cookies and they only sold $25 worth of cookies. And all three groups combined sold $150 worth of cookies. If you got those problems right, great job! You understand how tallying and uh, bar graphs work to collect and organize um, the numbers. This has been McGehee, and I want to thank you for watching this video lesson on tallying and bar graphs. Please stay tuned for more lessons on yammychess.com. Have a great day.